What is up, tube? So uh, today I'm making a little couple cab mounts finally for this uh, Apache project. I got her up off the ground on some jack sand. So um, now that I got the bed sitting where I want to sit, uh, I got the front clip sitting where I want to sit. Everything looks really good. I have some temporary mounts that I made um, that were holding the cab in place. Now it's time to throw some uh, metal at it. So what I'm going to be doing today is using a little bit of uh, square stock that I had laying around from another project. And we're going to make some cab mounts out of it. Stay tuned. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Watch me build a truck. I got the truck up on jack stands. And uh, forgive me if the photography isn't super great. I got to get down on the ground and uh, underneath the truck to show you. So, this is what we got going on. Basically, if you look here, this is our cab, this is our frame. I need to get that hole right there, make a bracket that comes off the frame, gusset it down, so picture a big triangle with a flat spot. And then we'll run a body bushing and a bolt down through from the inside of the cab and get it all welded up. There was a bracket on this frame that I started to remove and we'll get the rest of the way off here shortly. Um, I bought this frame from a guy that was putting a 53 Chevy cab on it and those were his front mount brackets. So I just hacked most of it off and then uh, still have to clean it up. So. We'll get the rest of that off, clean that up. You can see where the original stock body mount bracket was. This one will sit basically right there. Come out, gusset, bolt in. There'll be a bushing in between there. So, and as you can see, in this stock S10 frame with the stock Apache step in it, basically sits down below the frame, nice and low. After I put a three quarter inch body bushing in there, it should be pretty level straight across the bottom of the frame. And uh, yeah, super rad, so. So what I'm gonna do is take this hunk of square stock and uh, I'm gonna cut kind of a gusset bracket out of it. That way we have a nice flat top section. We'll drill a hole down through. We'll make a back plate welded to the frame bolt everything up so it took some measurements under there it's about four and a half inches of bracket that i need so i'm gonna square this up cut a four and a half inch chunk out of it and i'll have uh cut it and have two brackets drill a couple holes weld it up to the truck and uh, there's our front body mounts the back of the cab actually sits level on flat on the frame so all i gotta do is just like the, cat, the back of the bed is come off with a real simple flat bracket that bolts down through the floor there as well. So that's super simple. Um, these are a little more complicated, but still easy. Um, let's uh, get this cut up. bracket we'll drill a hole in the top of it we got two pieces out of one which always makes it good um, while I was there I cleaned up the back and I put a bevel all the way around where I'm gonna weld usually when I bevel something I try and get it pretty close it's easier to do if you actually have um, you know a, a nice setup um, I usually just do it with an angle grinder but I try and get that 
angle pretty decent and about halfway down the metal. That way I um, have an area that I can lay a bead and uh, weld right in there. That way uh, it's solid and safe. So there we go. Bracket's done. Now we'll just uh, drill some holes. I need to make a flat back plate that I'm gonna put on it. it makes it easier to weld to the frame. I mean, you could weld these straight to the frame, um, but that frame isn't quite straight. So, uh, I don't know. I've always found it easier to make a back plate. That way you're clamping that back plate to the frame and then welding that plate, which is welded to this on there. Um, you know, just the way that I've always done it. I know some guys would just put that right on the frame and weld it up, which that works too. It makes it a little bit hard to get it perfect. If they both have a flat surface on the back, that's pretty well perfect. It'll be a little easier, so. Step one done. I'm gonna get these uh, temporarily put onto the truck, make a back plate, put them on the truck temporarily, find where my hole's gonna go, drill a hole, and uh, get them on there. bevel that I ground down on both sides meets up together and it leaves me a nice place to lay my well a nice little nice little valley to put a weld in it makes it way easier to weld up and have them look consistent so I'll weld those up and then they'll get welded to the frame on the back side after they're one piece um, I'll have a nice 45 to weld into when it meets the frame right along here and that way you can just lay a nice stitch along and uh, put them together so that's that <laughs> best welder in the world but I get the job done I've had a couple lessons from certified welders so I know it'll be strong and hold up show you what I got here so uh, yeah they're welded in there good penetration I'll probably go in and get uh, a couple stitches just from the inside there just to be safe but uh, that's that so if you notice, I made a little uh, makeshift welding table here. Makes the job a little easier. I just grabbed this piece of scrap, and this always seems to be my uh, my table. Obviously, I'm welding on a wooden bench, which isn't super safe, but I don't do anything long. You know, that's probably the longest weld I've laid in a long time. <clears throat> Either way, um, I just take a piece of steel, clamp it, lay what you're welding right on top of it. It makes it super simple to uh, get the job done. So I got that bracket fabbed, which is lightly clamped on the frame. You can see where it comes up and meets there. And uh, we'll lay a nice weld down both sides and underneath there the lay is nice and flat and it's easier to weld that flat plate against the other frame rather than welding just you know this open end and trying to get it from both sides but I'll uh now I need to mark the hole that comes up in here somewhere so now that I got it clamped in what I'm going to do is go to the through the top of the cab where it bolts down and just take a marker and uh, 
mark where I'm gonna put that hole in there. Drill the hole on the drill press before I put it in. And I'll at least slot it a little bit. That way you can move the cab just around a little bit. And then uh, when we put it in finally, I'll have a cab bushing in between these, the cab and this new mount. I have uh, three quarter inch bushings, universal bushings that I got for this truck just to uh, make it ride a little bit better. So yeah, we'll drill a mark and drill it and then we'll weld it up and that'll be our cab mount for this side. And uh, we'll uh, go to the other side and do the other one. There's where the bolt goes down through the cab. And you can see there's lots of, lots of rust we're gonna fix. We'll put new floors in this thing. The cab mounts are solid and that's what was important. So the way I mark that is I just stick a marker down through there and uh, color it all in. trying to do it I think I'm just gonna leave it in the way it is it's definitely tacked and started to be weld we'll grind that out and weld it up permanent once I pull the cap back off it's really hard to reach in there so yeah I'll get a better weld on it when we pull the cab off but the bolts lined up real nice it fits like I said we'll get a, a body mount bushing in between those two um, that way it's not a super stiff ride, but there's one in. So that's it. Got that uh, mount in. I'm going to pull that cab off when we're all done here. I'll grind out that shitty weld you watched me put in. Um, it wasn't horrible, but I'm laying on the ground here upside down. Uh, for everybody that welds, you know, laying uh, welding vertical super hard, especially when you hardly have any room. It's a little hard to see in there. Um, but yeah, bracket ain't going anywhere. So when I pull the cab off, I'll re weld everything, get it all super nice and straight. Um, nice clean welds, grind everything down, paint the frame, put everything back together. So, um, but that's it. This uh, episode was fun. I always like doing the fab stuff. Fab is always my favorite. I got lots more coming. So um, as always, comment, like, subscribe. If you like what you see, tell some friends. Get them on my channel. Let's uh, build some cool shit together. As always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate every guy, every, every one of you for watching me um, do what I love to do. So have a good day, everybody. Thank you.